Gaming. Welcome back to my Bring Back's Insanely Awesome E-Learning. Thank you, Martin, for the suggestion on the slogan. You know, I don't know what we're going to go with, but that's a good one. I like it. Anyways, back to the awesomely insane E-Learning Xcode 4.2 tutorial. And today we're going to be going to go over again some of the basics, but some of the crucial stuff in Xcode 4.2. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go up to the editor on the top right hand corner. We're going to turn it back to the standalone editor and then we're going to go over to our navigator area on the left and we're going to go into what uh, they call our storyboards. In the storyboard in the last tutorial we kind of just clicked into it, we showed you what it was, but now we're going to go in and we're actually going to change one of the storyboards and specifically within the iPhone storyboard. So we're going to zoom out and kind of explain how this works. We've set up a tab bar controller um, template from the Xcode 4.2 template library. And now what we're going to do is overview what, you know, what it is, how do we change this. We ran the application in the last tutorial and we saw that basically all this text appeared on the screen. So now, you know, how do we change the text? You know, that's the big question. What do we do from here? So as you can see, we've got a tab bar controller. And over to the left here, you can see that we've got two tabs on screen that correlate to obviously the first going and tying into our first view, and then the second tying into our second view here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the first view controller, and that'll zoom it in so we can see what these elements are. So first we're going to select the first text field there, I guess you would call it, but it, uh, it is actually a label. And then we're going to go over to what they call the quick help inspector. And this is any time you don't know what an element on the screen is or you're having trouble identifying it. If you click on the element and then you go to the quick help, it'll tell you a little bit about it. Tell you the name, what you can do with it, and then it'll also tell you some references and also some sample code that Apple has for you to help you program in the future. So that is crucial and it makes it very easy for you guys to identify it. The next thing that we're going to do is go over to the inspector and this is basically where the identity of elements on the screen can be tied to. And that probably doesn't make a lot of sense now. We're, I'll show you here um, an identity that you guys can relate to. But uh, the next thing that we're going to do is go over to the attributes tab here. And the first thing that you'll see is there's you know all these attributes that are fairly common. You've got a text and uh, actually we could change that right now so I'm just gonna put in my bring back it'll center it on the screen and now you can see we've we've directly changed the text on the field there the next thing if you keep going down you can see basic alignment fonts color all this stuff so these are kind of attributes that you can change of the objects or elements that are on the screen so that's just another way to do it the next little thing that we're going to do in the utilities tray is the size inspector. And we're not going to adjust this one, but I just want to show you guys what this is, how it works, um, and uh, what you can do with it. So basically what we've got here is within our view, we've got coordinates that uh, give our, our label where it's going to show up on the screen. So we could change this to X is 20, and as you can see, it moves the left part of our text box 20 pixels away from the side from the farthest far, farthest left of the screen and then we could adjust it to where um, we've got different origins of where the text box or the label or whatever your element is or object is um, you can adjust those as well we're gonna go ahead and adjust that back to 54 which it looks like it's centered on screen and then uh, you've also got a width and height of your element and so that's gonna adjust obviously width if we went uh, if we went out to well 500 is going to be more in the screen but let's go out to 300 you can see it makes the 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 element or the object a little bit larger width wise and so on and so forth so I think that was 212 we'll, we'll go back with that so what we're gonna do here now is uh, click on the next element and if you don't know what it is click in uh, your quick help you'll see it's a text view and so that gives us multiple lines it also gives us uh, a scroll bar if we need to be uh, scrolling through multiple uh, multiple lines of text and all that stuff and then we're gonna go and uh, go to the attributes and as you can see again we've got the same thing where we can add or change the text on the in the text view not the label for our screen here now in this case we don't really need it but uh, we'll just 
we'll just put something in here like uh, bang awesome e-learning whoa there we go and can't spell today there we go all right, so we've we've changed the two elements on the screen. Now you're probably wondering, is does that going to do anything? Is it going to show up in our simulator? And that's what we're going to do right now: is run what we just changed, just so we can see what it looks like. Now, one thing before you click the run button or command R or whatnot, go up to your devices. Make sure you have the iPhone specifically, because we haven't changed anything with your iPad storyboard, so nothing should show up differently. So go up there, make sure you check the, the iPhone 5 simulator, and go ahead and run your application. And so as your iPhone simulator appears, you can see basically we, we've just adjusted the text, and it, it comes out perfectly. I'm excited about this awesome e-learning. Now if you go to the second tab, we haven't done anything different with that, so you shouldn't see anything different in that, uh, in that realm. But uh, that's kind of the start to changing some of the objects on the screen or on the view and having them reflect within the simulator. So once you get to that point, we're going to pause, move on to the next tutorial, make sure you got all that stuff memorized. So moving forward, it, comes, it goes a lot quicker. All right, we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.